such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. Want to set the scene, as always, with a text. Psalm 2 is becoming one of my favorite psalms because it is so applicable to today. Look at Psalm 2, how it ends. Psalms 2.10. Now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned. O rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear, rejoice with trembling, kiss the son, lest he be angry and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed, blessed are all who take refuge in him. Psalm 2 talks about a time on earth when the rulers of the earth, the kings, the rulers, will reject the Lord and his Christ. And nowadays, this is uh, February 24th, 2022, and I, I'm here to announce it is at that point. The earth has rejected the Lord. And I want to just take two incidences uh, in the Biden administration, February 24th, 2022. One, um, last week, President Biden appointed Sam Britton to oversee spent fuel and waste in the Nuclear Energy Office of the Department of Energy. Well, this is Sam Britton. <clears throat> He's an outspoken drag queen and queer activist. I feel sorry for Sam Britton. When the president appointed him, Sam said, I've accepted the offer to serve as the deputy assistant secretary of spent fuel and waste uh, uh, disposition of the Office of Nuclear Energy for the Department of Energy. Uh, in this role, I will be doing what I always dreamed of doing, leading the effort to solve the nation's nuclear waste challenges. Um, Sam Britton is not to be made fun of. He is to be prayed for and pitied. Sam, you, you need help. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Here at New Hope Community Church, we have a saying, we love you enough to tell you the truth. The truth is, Sam, you need help. Brother, you need help. You need help. But I don't know who's worse, Mr. Sam or Mr. John Kerry. Yesterday, February 23rd, 2022, it seems as though Russia has invaded the Ukraine. And John Kerry has a, a certain spin about the invasion of Ukraine. It seems as though the most important thing about the invasion of Ukraine is the admissions that will be spent in this conflict, war, whatever you want to call it, the emissions that will go towards global warming. So as the bombs are dropping and the bullets are flying and people are dying, John Kerry doesn't want you to lose focus. The real issue, the real problem, It's climate change. Rotate. I'm very concerned about I'm concerned about Ukraine because of the people of Ukraine and because of the principles that are at risk uh, in terms of international law and trying to change.
boundaries of international law by force. Uh, I thought we lived in a world that had said no to that kind of activity, and I hope diplomacy will win. But massive uh, emissions consequences to the war, but equally importantly, you're going to lose people's focus. You're going to lose uh, certainly big country attention because they will be diverted, and, and uh, I think it could have a damaging impact. So, you know, I think hopefully President Putin would realize that in the northern part of his country, they used to live on 66 percent of a nation that was over frozen land. Now it's thawing, and his infrastructure is at risk, and the people of Russia are at risk. And so I hope President Putin will help us to stay on track with respect to what we need to do for the climate. I, I hope President Putin will stay on track and need to do what needs to be done for the climate. For such a time as this, 